In this video, we'll take a look at two really useful objects for number management and logic in Max. And that's a gate and a switch, and there are multiple variations of both of these. So the basic idea with a gate is that you can take an input, a stream of data, and you can choose whether it goes through the gate or not through the gate. So this is the gate help file, and there's a metro on that's just counting from 0 to 500. So right now, zero is sent to the gate, and that means that all of the gates are shut. There's no data that's coming through, even though you see this metro, which is on with this little active flag. And if you wanted to see this, you could put a little number box here. We can see it's counting, and it's going into the gate, but it's not triggering any output, and that's because our gates are currently closed. If I send an integer, one, two, or three, into a gate, it will determine which gate outlet to open up. So let's open up the first outlet and then switch it to two. And now we see one has stopped sending out data and two has started sending out this data. Same thing for three. The reason I have three gates is because I have this argument here, gate three. If I had no arguments, then I would just have one outlet here on the gate. Notice you can also use this with a basic toggle because toggle is sending out ones and zeros. A zero would be off and a one would be on. Switch works similarly to gate except the opposite. So whereas gate controlled the outlet, we had multiple outlets but only one input, switch has multiple inlets, multiple streams of data coming in and only one outlet or place for it to go. Here you can see that in the help file they're using this U menu so that you can select inlet 1, inlet 2, inlet 3, etc. But it's just a number. It's the same as gate. So right now I have inlet 3 selected so if I go up and change any of these other inlets I'm getting nothing until I get to 3 and now I can see this number. Again, this is the same as gate. I have the ability to change my number of inputs with my argument here. So right now I have four. If I change it to two, I just have two inlets here. Actually, that's a normal switch, but I can have a bunch of them if I want it. All right, and then down here you see some similar objects, but with interfaces here. So you can actually see from what inlet to what outlet that data is currently flowing. So let's take a look at G switch two, and we'll go ahead and also open up G switch help so we can see them side by side. Whew, lots of things going on here. All right, so on the left we have G switch two, which is similar to a gate. And we have on the right G switch normal, which is similar to a switch. So the only difference here is that on the right hand side, here you have multiple inlets two, and on the left hand side you have multiple outlets. So if I send it a bang, it's actually going to toggle which outlet my data is going through, and I can also use just a regular toggle. If I have a zero, we'll go to the left outlet, and a one or any non-zero will go to the right. You can do this with integers or also any input. Same thing for G switch, you can see they're almost identical here. We can bang to toggle which inlet is selected. And I can also use zero to select the left and one or non-zero to select the right input.